I really become an insane human being at a rock, when, before I go on stage. I mean, I get to that level. About, oh, it must have been in February of last year, they called me and said, look, they're interested in you doing a show in Vegas. I go, great, you know, I mean, they've been talking for years about going into Vegas. I wanted to incorporate a lot more than just a VH1 storytellers. I wanted it to be part Vegas, part comedy, part vaudeville, part slapstick, rock and roll, I mean, intense. You know, when I'm doing my rock and roll stuff, I'm intense. Basically, on stage, I'm a serial killer. So I went and I pitched the show. And I said, well, I'm gonna start with music and then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna go into a character. And I'm gonna have all these things happen behind me while I'm telling the audience and apologizing to the audience with that character that I don't have any of this. Yet they're seeing it, but I don't. So I have to play like it's not there. They said to me, okay, this reviewer's coming tonight. Just let me give you a heads up on this reviewer. He hates everything. He's never given anything out here a good review. And uh, so just be prepared. He's just gonna probably tear you apart. I said, I'm used to that, it's okay. And he didn't. We are the only show in town with quotes from this guy on our ads. I mean, we got great quotes. I always try to do something that no one's ever done before. In fact, if anybody on my band or my stage would ever do this, come on! I, I give them fair warning up front. If I see you do that, you're fired. Because everybody, their mother and their grandmother's dog does that. And I said, you never play with anybody in the front row that's the problem I have with these uh, American Idol voice, these kind of shows, is that they don't teach them real stage. They teach them cliches. It's like, you see them on The Voice in America, they're out there, I'm telling you, every week somebody's going, come on! I'm going, fired! <laughs> Donald Trump, you're fired. Well, when you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, touring isn't so bad. When you pass 50, and I have to confess, I'm over 50, okay? And uh, it starts getting hard. I mean, you have to be disciplined early, because if you're not, that's the problem with some of the, you know, you hear about them, you know, not showing up, doing this, going to the bars, getting in trouble, you know. To, you have to be disciplined and responsible, because if you want to achieve longevity, your audience is the most important thing. You're not. Getting a Ferrari and drag racing is not the most important thing. Your audience is. Showing up on time, doing the best you can. And all you gotta do is look at the people that have the longevity. Uh, the, believe me, as crazy as Keith Richard has been, he's had discipline in his life. And so is Jagger, so is Springsteen, so is Billy Joel. Bon Jovi, discipline. You know, you can tell the ones that are disciplined because we're still here.